Hi guys, here's Kevin from Precision EFI. Today uh, I'm going to explain you a little bit uh, the Unlock ECU service that we just uh, released yesterday. So we had a lot of questions in the past days, so uh, we'll have all the answers for your questions. And also uh, give you a rough idea of uh, what horsepower we're looking to target for this uh, 900R engine. First question I'm going to answer for you guys is we had a lot of question about what is uh, what is exactly uh, we're paying for that $250 reservation and everything. So first thing that I want to make clear with you is that $250 that you just put in for for uh, for deposit for this kit. This is reserving you a spot for the unlock uh, unlock process of that ECU. So you're not paying right now for a stage or anything related to that. Right now is really reserving your spot. You pay your $250 and you reserve your spot in that list. So you will be the first or or whatever the second one that on that list when you reserve. We're going to call you guys and give you all the information and want to know exactly what stage at this point that you're going to choose later when it's going to be available. We're, uh, we're doing all what, what we can right now to, uh, to test the product, to be able to, to have something ready for you guys for end of August, beginning of uh, September. We had also a lot of demand for horsepower number or dyno chart. Um, the thing is, I can tell you a little bit what we're, we're thinking about this right now is we start first in around September when we have our first, uh, first ECU and N for the 900R, we start that working on the ECU, all that part really computer wise to do everything what we needed. When we finalize the, um, the process of, of, of working on the ECU, we're just starting to have snow. So for us, we, we, we prefer to, to do our testing on snow to see how the machine is reacting and put some miles on it. So that's what we did. So right now we have a different sled that's got or flash in it and we're putting miles to the sled, testing the product, confirming the trail that is riding good and everything. So when those tests are gonna be done and when the tra trail ride will be absolutely amazing, uh, we will go on the dyno and, and finalize those exact numbers and, and information about the numbers itself. But for us, uh, the main thing to give you a good product guys it's not it's not happening on dyno exactly it's happening in a trail to good to to give you really a good feeling of the trawl and everything so this is a really important part for us and and we have such a small time of snow here in quebec that when we have snow we need to be on snow and testing that that's what that's what we need to do so dyno numbers will be uh will be there probably just beginning of spring uh right away when we don't have snow anymore to to ride I, I swear you guys that sled's gonna be on the dyno and we will, we will give you some exact numbers with dyno charts. Now two different stages that we're looking to do for, uh, for the 900R. Um, first stage will be probably something like usually on a completely stock sled without any modification, uh, probably running around a 210 horsepower or something like that. And uh, stage two we're targeting uh, for a, a probably a, around 230 but it will require some better uh, octane for this, uh, for this stage. So that's what right now we're testing in development right now as we speak. To answer the question of how long I'm gonna lose my ECU, um, we need your ECU here, I will say about three weeks of time. And the reason why this three week is, I'm counting the full process of when the ECU is gonna be here. So if we start from just, it's, it's getting the shop, doing the, the work order and everything, do that process and get it shipped to you guys, this is long because it's a complicated ECU to work with. This M MG1, MJ1 uh, ECU from Bosch, it's got a lot of security thing and that's what actually we're doing with this unlock uh, thing is we're, we're able to remove the, secu the security that uh, BRP asked the Bosch to put in the ECU to not allow people like us, like the tuners, to be able to tune it. So that's what exactly that we need to remove to be able to flash it. So pretty complicated uh, process, special tooling to do it and everything. So, uh, and, and, and also that's the reason why we create that list to, to not just having 200 ECU here and, and big amount of, of ECU just with big waiting lists also and people need to wait long time. So we create this list to, to be able to call customer when, when we're at, 
at this point of the list and, and uh, just let you know that you can bring your ECU in and we will work on it pretty right away. So that's the goal of putting your name on that list and do your reservation. Another question that we have is uh, related to diagnostic and everything. So even after this unlock of the ECU is you can go to any of BRP dealers and have them diagnostic your sled with the, with the regular bud system that they have. They can plug it to uh, an unlock ECU with a precision EFI flash in it. And they will be able to check codes and everything. So everything like if it was OEM. And same thing for uh, all the information in the dash. For, for the trail rider itself, for the rider of the snowmobile, you will not have any difference in the functionality of your of all the equipment of your sled. So everything is still there and it's working as OEM. Interested thing also uh, by keeping this MG1 uh, ECU is this, this ECU is the most intelligent ECU that we never saw here, honestly, at Precision EFI. From all the ECU that we have reflash or working on, it's a really great ECU and it's got some really nice feature that normally you will see in, in really high-end ECU. So by changing to any standalone system or stuff like that, you will not get any result close from what BRP with Bosch have worked on this ECU. So by using our unlock system, and we're still working with this complete ECU, is we have access for completely of what all that work that BRP and Bosch did together. Last thing that I want to talk to you about, guys, is uh, we're constantly in development with this uh, with this MG1 ECU. So um, I cannot tell you in, in one day or six months or one year where we're going to be, but our goal right now is to get this unlock process shortened. So less time, less delay for you guys to, to have this ECU done. That's what we're working constantly to get this product uh, better for you guys.